Owning a racehorse is like owning a sports car. In this case, you have to take care of it, ensure it is well, and make sure that it does not get ill. After all, you cannot race a sick horse. Horses have a lot of work when it comes to watching over them and taking care of them. You have to ensure they are well fed, their stables are clean, they are free from parasites, and most importantly, their horseshoes are changed. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will look at the entire process of cutting off and grinding a horse's hoof so that it does not become ill. But before we continue, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos on some exciting processes. So let's get started. If there is one thing that many new horse owners understand about horses, they need shelter, exercise and nutrition. You need to make sure that you budget correctly for this. However, there is more to that, and that is when it comes to horseshoe maintenance. This is essential to caring for a horse because it can even fall ill if done wrongly. That is precisely why nobody does it, but it is, in fact, done by a farrier. This is a person who has been trained to do this. It is quite a process involving clamping, grinding, burning, and even hammering and nailing. So, how does it all start? As I said, this is a process that is not done by just anybody. To change a horseshoe, you need to call a farrier, a person trained explicitly for this. A farrier, or farriers if there are many, will come with all the necessary tools for this process. Horses are pretty friendly, so this is not a big deal when it is time to change the horseshoe. However, it cannot be done in the same stable the horse sleeps in. The entire process needs to be done in an empty and clean stable. This is to ensure that none of the dirt gets between the shoe and the hoof, which could potentially lead to illnesses. Once the horse is here, the first thing that the farrier will do is clean out the dung on the hoof. This is done so with a small crowbar or a chisel. After that, using a special clamp, the farrier proceeds to remove the rusted and old shoe. Once it is out, he scratches underneath the hoof once more to ensure it is completely clean. Once the farrier is done with one foot, he moves on to the next. This is done for all four legs, ensuring they are extra clean. Removing the shoe requires some strength because it is removing something that has been nailed there. However, the horse does not feel any pain because the hooves are just dead cells, meaning they have no nerve endings. The only problem would be if the hoof was cracked and exposed part of the horse's flesh. Once all the shoes are out, it is time to carve out the dead cells on the hoof. The farrier will use a special chisel for this. It is more of a curved chisel to help carve out the hoof. Before the farrier can start on this, he has to make sure that it is sharp enough so that he does not struggle or use too much force. Therefore, he had to take some time to sharpen it if he hadn't by the time he got there. Another tool that he needs is a hoof rasp. This tool is used to smooth the hoof after it has been cut. After all, you cannot leave it with rough edges. That will just hurt the horse itself. Once all the tools are ready, he proceeds to work on the horse's hooves once more. He starts by cutting off part of the middle. This is always done in a specific pattern. He then uses the horse clamps to remove the horseshoe and snip off the area where the horseshoe was fitted. After that, he uses the hoof rasp to make it smoother. Once he is done with one hoof and has made sure it is smooth, he proceeds to the next hoof. Think of it like cutting your long nails with a nail cutter. It is now time to install the new horseshoe. The farrier has to get some of the tools ready for this. The first thing he takes is a magnetic wristband, which holds the nails used to fix the horseshoe on the horse. It is not a must-have, but it does help in making the work easier. Given that there are horseshoes of various sizes and shapes, the farrier has to be sure about the size. Therefore, he will take a couple of different sized horseshoes and try to fit them on the horse. The criteria for this is to ensure that the heel of the horse's hoof does not become longer than the horseshoe. 
otherwise, if this were to happen, it would cause severe injuries to the horse. Once he finds the perfect size, he puts all four of them in a furnace-like structure and burns them at a very high temperature. After that, he takes one of them and smashes it with a hammer to make it stiffer and reshape it. Then, he uses a tool that looks like tweezers to carry the hot horseshoe and proceeds to wear the horses. He then burns the horse's hoof with the hot horseshoe, ensuring he has left a mark. However, he only does this for the front feet for the first round. This is somehow like marking where the horseshoe will later fit. He then takes another horseshoe from the furnace, smashes it, and proceeds to burn the horse's hooves. This time, he does so for the rear feet, ensuring he has left some marks on them. He then comes back to his workstation and dips the hot horseshoes in water to cool them, and they are now ready to be fitted on the horse itself. Once they are cool enough, the farrier takes them and ensures that the surface that will lie on the hoof has no other sharp edges. To ensure this, he grinds the edges, making them as smooth as possible. Now that the horseshoes are ready, it is not time to fit them on the horse. The farrier starts with one foot and takes it into his lap. He then fits one of the horseshoes and ensures that it fits perfectly on the hoof. Once he has assured this is right, he nails the horseshoe onto the foot. The nails for this job are concrete, and they are not regular nails. These nails have a flat rectangular head that goes hand in hand with the horseshoe. It has to fit perfectly into the spaces on the horseshoe, or it risks damaging the horse's hoof by making it crack. And if the foot were to break, there is no telling to what extent the damage would be. The farrier moves from hoof to hoof, nailing the horseshoes and ensuring they fit perfectly. After that, he takes the clamps that he used to remove and trim the hooves and proceeds to snip off the edges of the nails that have protruded from the other side. He has to ensure that he has done this to prevent the horse from hurting itself while running or lying down. Once everything is done, the horse is not good to go. It can now be taken back to its sleeping quarters for some rest. The horse will also feel fresh after having a new set of horseshoes. The entire process of changing a horseshoe is crucial because if it were to be done wrong, you risk causing unimaginable damage to the horse. You could end up causing the hoof to crack, which would cause pain to the horse itself. You could also cause the horseshoe to become loose and fall off as the horse is racing, which would not be so good for the horse. And the whole process must be done carefully so the horse doesn't get sick. So, what do you think of the entire process? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.